Hello, so we're going to do a brief overview of the library website and you can get here by clicking the library tab on the AMU home website. As an Alabama A&M student, you have access to the premium version of Grammarly. It can be found here on the library website or on the courses tab of Blackboard. Let's take a look at mobile printing. So let's say that you're at home and you don't have a printer of your own. You're actually able to print off site, but you have to come into the library and sign into one of the printing stations in order to get your documents. So you can do that by email or by web portal. So let's look at web portal. By using the web portal, you can use the black and white printer or black and white academic enhancement. After clicking the printer you choose, you enter your A number and you upload the document that you need printed out. So we looked at mobile printing, and now we're gonna look at interlibrary loans. If you're doing research for a class and our library doesn't have that book in stock, you can actually do interlibrary loan. And so interlibrary loan takes about three to five days. So you wanna always be um, diligent about your research. Loan period for books is set by the lending library. For undergrads, that can be from 30 to 60 days. For grad students, that's 90 days. And for faculty, that can be about six months. So now we're moving on from interlibrary loan, and we're going to take a look at university archives. So the State Black Archives Research Center and Museum is actually up on the hill. And right here we have the web browser for them. And so we can see their history. And the actual exhibits that they have ongoing right now. So the 9th and 10th United States Cavalry Regiments, Buffalo Shell Soldiers, the Velma Walker Art Collection. So far we've talked about Grammarly, and the premium access of that, mobile printing, and a library loan, and the university archives. Now let's move on to our university databases. In order to actually have access to the databases, you need to log in. And so in most cases, that would be your A number, your A number and the last four digits of your phone number. Say that you are a psych major and you don't know which database to use. You can actually go down and look through the subjects tab and find psychology. And then we'll look at the psychology databases or things that involve psychology. So psych info. So we can type in any subject. So let's think about birth order and then you can actually search birth order and you can add filters to add in full text or to make sure that the articles are peer-reviewed okay and so in some cases your teacher might want you to have a more up-to-date article and so you can actually change the date and Because we clicked full text, we're actually able to get the link to the full text. And so here we have our article, we have our abstract, we have what models they followed, and the empirical evidence. So let's go back. I want to also show you guys Canopy. So Canopy is a database for videos. There are academic documentaries on the Canopy database as well as some more fun documentaries that you can just watch in your free time. But these are all available to you through the library website. And after looking at Canopy, we also have another video database and that is Films on Demand.
So as you can see, we have academic success, smart tips for serious students, non-experimental research methods. We have around 37,000 titles and around 306,000 segments. So these are all educational streaming videos that you can find. So you may be able to look at something for a class or even just for yourself and that you're able to use this database for your, your own good and for your own education. Another database that I want us to look at is History Maker. So the History Makers Digital Archive, it's a national educational institution committed to preserving, developing, and providing easy access to internationally recognized archival collections of thousands of African American video oral histories. So just when you get on the website, you see History Makers born on this day. So you can click on Bobby L. Wilson and it shows the tapes and the stories that he's told on this website. And you're able to look at this and you're able to look at the history that he speaks about. So we talked about the online databases and we know that if you wanna log in, you need to use your A number and the last four digits of your phone number. But say you just can't remember or you wanna look at some more databases. There's actually the Alabama Virtual Library. If you're in the state of Alabama, you're actually able to use this database and you can use Academic Search Premier, which is also one of our databases. But if you're unable to remember your A number, like I said, you can actually get on there from here because you're in the state of Alabama. And then we can just go through their databases and just give them a look. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact the AAMU Writing Center, The Right Place, or the JF Drake Memorial LRC. Thank you.